Now, flu season might be halfway over, but that doesn't mean that you're off the hook just yet. News Channel 9's Ashley Cofaro checking in with Summerwood Pediatrics in Liverpool and tells us what sicknesses parents need to be on the lookout for. A triple whammy of flu, COVID, and RSV cases, dubbed by some as a triple demic, seems to be on the downswing. The overall illness rate seems to be decreasing, but... Uh, I'm saying that cautiously. That's because other illnesses are still floating around. We've seen quite a bit of strep pharyngitis lately, um, more than we usually see at this time of the year. Uh, and we're still seeing influenza A. Rhinovirus also making the rounds. The rhinovirus is a common uh, upper respiratory tract infection. And in small children, it sometimes uh, results in their difficulty with breathing. The biggest challenge doctors are dealing with when it comes to these sicknesses, <coughs> the symptoms. They all have the same signs and symptoms, and you know, unless we can test them for and distinguish, um, it, it's very difficult. Draker says flu season can last until March or even linger until April, reminding parents to not let their guard down just yet. Obviously, if your child is sick, I would keep them home rather than have them go to daycare and or school and potentially infect others to get your child seen. And if your child isn't vaccinated against COVID or the flu, make an appointment. Ashley Cafaro, News Channel 9. So if your child is sick, Dr. Draker says, get your child in to see a doctor. Even though symptoms overlap among all the different illnesses, care and treatment for each is different. With